Minecraft started with just 30 blocks in the game, but today there are over 900. Now, as I've already built every biome and collected every mob, I'm going to attempt to collect every single block all in Minecraft Hardcore. And let's start with the oak wood because we're going to need a bunch of it. And it's not just oak wood that I'm going to need to collect. As you probably guessed, I'm going to need every type of wood, which includes spruce, dark oak, birch, jungle, acacia, mangrove, and the brand new cherry, which I'm collecting for the first time. And now that I've got a bunch of wood, every sapling, and all the leaves i can craft all of the craftable wooden blocks which amounts to 15 different blocks per type of wood and that adds up to 136 individual blocks if you include the leaves and the saplings and i don't even have anywhere to put it all which is a bit of a problem so to resolve that problem i'm going to find somewhere and build a block museum and i think right around here would be a good place to do it so let's completely decimate the land and make it flat so it's a suitable place to build that should be good enough right here i'm going to build an epic entrance for the museum that leads to the inside of the mountain then on the inside i'm going to decorate a huge area to show off every single block that i collect so let's start out by building a temporary frame or whatever you can call this and the building is going to be a challenge in itself because i really cannot build to save my life And this is what the museum is going to look like. I just need to extend the roof and craft a bunch of my favorite block to make some room on the inside of the mountain. I continued to blow up more and more TNT until I was left with this huge cave, which I'll eventually showcase all of the blocks inside of. And I think I want to place the blocks on some quartz blocks because they would just stand out more, I guess. Don't worry, the end product isn't going to look like this and this will all be decorated. So make sure you stay tuned to the end because this is going to look a whole lot different. So now we've got an area to house the blocks. Let's place all of the wooden ones, starting with the oak. And you've already seen me place all of these wooden blocks. So bam, there they are. That completes the wood section in terms of collecting every single block and placing them down now for the next section through here i want to place all of the nature blocks which includes all of the leaves saplings every flower and many more i've got every single leaf block in the game apart from the azalea and the flowering azalea so we need to find those ones first this might take a while Finally, oh my lord. Hey, what are you looking at, man? These are my leaves. Azalea leaves, flowering azalea leaves. That took a lot longer than it should have. Got a long journey back home, so I may as well try and pick up some blocks on the way, like these flowers here. And I'm pretty sure at some point I'm going to need a beehive, so... I have a sugarcane farm, but might as well collect it myself. Oh, a dead bush would be a good one. Uh, how am I supposed to get these then? I remember getting a ton of them for this biome here in the biomes video. And I'm pretty sure if I craft some shears and there we go. And that should also work for grass and ferns too. I've managed to acquire most of the blocks. But now I need to go underground to get both of the drip leaves along with a spore blossom and the hanging roots. We can now return to the mighty block museum. And now we can place down all of the nature blocks somewhere here. Now, because most of the things can grow on grass, I'm going to place them on grass. Let's start out with all the saplings. We've got oak, spruce, jungle, acacia, birch, mango, propagule. <laughs> Propagule? Propagule? Don't judge me, all right? Dark oak, cherry sapling. And then on the end, we've got the dead bush. Got to make sure to put a string on top before one of them grows. And we don't really need that under here. Bruh. Directly behind the saplings is going to be the corresponding leaf. So we've got the oak, spruce, jungle, acacia, birch, mangrove, mangrove leaves, dark oak leaves, cherry leaves, and then for the dead bush, I'm going to place mangrove roots because it looks kind of dead to me. Now, those are all the leaves apart from the muddy mangrove roots, and I'm going to have to place it here by itself, but it probably won't look out of place because I can put it next to azalea and the flower. Wait, I forgot the azalea leaves. Now, it should fit in a lot better. Place those guys together there next to two ferns and two pieces of grass because we can make a tall fern and a tall piece of grass. So now we've got tall fern, fern, tall grass, grass. Nice. Now we can place down pretty much every single flower in the game. And I thought I had enough room, but I did not. Now I've got some more room. We can carry on with the rosebush, lilac, peony, 
Sunflower, Helium, Blue Orchid, Pink Petals, Oxy Daisy, and the Wither Rose. The prettiest flower of the bunch. Then we can go Drip Leaf. Wait, why is that called the Big Drip Leaf and that's the Small Drip Leaf? Anyway, we got the Sweet Berries, the two Mushrooms, some Bamboo, which is probably going to hit the ceiling, but that's fine. A Spore Blossom. That's worked out better than I could have ever imagined. Glowberries and Hanging Roots. Nice. There are four left that I wanted to place down, but they just wouldn't fit. And things like the Sugarcane and the Cactus required water. So I'm going to have to figure out a plan of fitting them in somewhere else. So now those sections are done, we're going to require some more room. Definitely not my favorite task to do after mining a 100 by 100 area down to bedrock in the nether. But that's the next area mined out. And inside, I'm going to showcase the other blocks. And I've called them the other blocks because I didn't really have a name for the mix of natural, functional, and redstone blocks. But now I do. And for this section, let's start by getting every type of dirt. I'm going to steal one of these from my mushroom biome. The majority of the blocks in this section were already laying around nearby, in a chest somewhere, or easily craftable. So after around an hour of collecting and crafting, I'm pretty sure I've got mostly everything, apart from the more difficult ones. Starting over on this side, we'll have the grass block, the dirt, the mycelium, the path block, coarse dirt, rooted dirt, farmland, mud, clay, gravel, sand, red sand. Right here, I'm going to have the suspicious gravel and the suspicious the suspicious gravel and the suspicious sand that was difficult to say then the moss moss carpet tough dripstone block pointed dripstone calcite block of amethyst a gap of three for the other sizes of the cluster because this is the large one and there was only large ones in the geode i found <sighs> let's be a big brain for once and do this before I forget. Now I can move on to the blocks that actually have a bit of use, like the crafting table, furnace, blast furnace, smoker, bookshelf, chiseled bookshelf, that's new, loom, smithing table, photography table, fletching table, all three kinds of anvils, a note block, a jukebox, composter, lectern, uh, the bell, enchanting table brewing stand lodestone which is a scam cauldron grindstone stone cutter scaffolding barrel and a respawn anchor which i'm in hardcore pretty useless block next we've got the two flower pots which that is a massive size difference that's what she said <laughs> a lightning rod an armor stand honeycomb honey block slime block a gap of three again for the frog lights yeah that's gonna take a while to get pumpkin carved pumpkin jack-o-lantern melon hay bale bean nest beehive campfire the blue campfire lantern the blue lantern torch soul torch redstone torch end rod ladder lever or lever chest trap chest popper and that completes the outside uh almost and somehow i completely forgot the item frame and the glow item frame Yep, I'd also hit me for making this thing look stupid to prevent there being any gaps in this section i flew off to collect the rest of the missing items Oh, some being a lot easier than others. And those others being a lot more time consuming, like the frog lights. Yo, that's a oh, that's so cool, bro. Gonna take this guy through next. Okay, let's let the orange frog off the lead. Here he comes. <laughs> this is one of my favorite things in Minecraft. I think to get the green frog, I just need to breed two frogs together. And then when this turns into a tadpole, I'll take it to a cold biome and we'll have a green frog. There we go. There's the last ones. Let's place them down. And I thought I'd just quickly mention you can't mine suspicious sand or gravel. It just breaks even with salt touch. So I guess I do have a place for these item frames after all. And that is the other block section complete. Next up, I think I want to do the nether section. But wait, I'm missing the bamboo wood. Yeah, let's just pretend I didn't forget any of those. And we can swiftly move over to the nether where there really aren't too many blocks to collect. I do need all of this nether wood because then I can craft all the nether wood blocks. Then get ourselves over to a basalt deltas biome. I still want to know who gave the basalt deltas its name. Because if it was up to me, it'd be called the volcano biome. But let's also get a bunch of blackstone along with their gilded blackstone. And I'm pretty sure I've got everything else or at least the stuff to craft it with. Apparently to crack a nether brick, you just need to smelt it. That's every nether block mine crafted or smelted. Now I just need to figure out a place where I can put it all. And I guess as it's quite open plan, we can just spam these blocks all the way around the outside like with the other block section. And then I'll probably have to put some of the rarer blocks in the middle because this is definitely not enough. I've just counted it all up. And in these sugar boxes, there are 89 individual blocks, bruh. And 
that is all the nether blocks placed down. I had to change up the order a bit because it wouldn't all fit in and I had half the wooden blocks placed and half not. So I changed it around, added in a block of ancient debris to make it all even and I think it turned out all right. Now that section's done, I can move on to the end and I'm pretty sure there's only like 16 blocks that I need to collect. So this one should be pretty quick. Yes, you're seeing this right. There are literally only 16 blocks from the end. I think it's about time that there was an end update. And because there wasn't many blocks from the end dimension, I didn't need to take up a whole bunch of room. So instead, I built a mini end island, which if I place the blocks on top of, you won't be able to see because it's too high. So after some altercations to the island, I placed down all of the blocks from the end. There we go. Now I can actually see all of the blocks. And I wonder how tall that's going to grow. With the end section complete, we can switch over to the ocean section, which means I need all the prismarine blocks from this place that's going to be a slight problem so here are the ocean blocks that i've accumulated oh you know what i'm not even going to be annoyed at myself because it's pretty understandable that i forgot a conduit like who even uses that in the game anyway people in the comments can be like i always use a conduit no no you don't nobody uses that useless block anyway before i go and get the block i'm gonna place all of the ocean blocks in this tunnel right here number one because i didn't know where else to put it and two because it's the water section so in a cave it would make it much easier to have the blocks like the coral surrounded by water and instead of quartz for the ocean section i'm gonna use sand for the blocks to go on top of and i'm literally just gonna start placing hopefully this doesn't melt and i'm gonna have to place the coral twice because as you can see this has got a die same thing here for the fans i can be super smart never said that before and place these stairs waterlog them and then if i cover that up wait i think it should be that block and if i place the coral it shouldn't die and you'd never know that there was water behind that block now if i just do that for the rest that's all of the ocean blocks placed down in a completely different order because it was all mismatched and i even managed to fit in the sugarcane and the cactus leaving two blocks at the end for the conduit and also the dried kelp block which i completely forgot about but that should be really easy to get all i need to do is smelt kelp and then craft a block now for a conduit i need to get a heart of the sea and surround it with nautilus shells and to get a heart of the sea i'm gonna need to find a shipwreck somewhere i guess something like that will do need the buried treasure map and x marks the spot but it's looking like i'm nowhere near x i think it's right around here there it is and there is the heart of the sea now i just need to kill a bunch of these guys to get the nautilus shells So now we've done the wood, we've done the nature blocks, other blocks, ocean blocks, the nether, and the end. Now next up, I want to replicate this nether section onto this side and put down all of the stone and bricks and all of those kind of blocks. This is probably going to be one of the easier sections as I already have... Ow. as i already have most of the blocks because i'm gonna need cobblestone andesite granite diorite deep slate cobbled deep slate a bunch of sand yeah we should be good and all of these chests are filled with blocks from when i mined out that 100 by 100 perimeter yeah we're definitely not going short on cobblestone that's for sure the only one we're missing most of is the red sand which as you can see very attainable and also clay and whilst all those bricks smelt i'm gonna use my new best friend the stone cutter to craft pretty much everything else All four already shulkers are now full after a lot of use from that stone cutter. But there's one final block I need and it can't be crafted. And that's the reinforced deep slate. And you find them in end cities like right over there. So I've come back to where I got the shrieker from and I'm hoping the warden isn't angry at me. Am I dumb or something? Let me search this up on Google. Uh, okay, so I am just stupid, but it won't be a wasted trip because I can take all of these candles for the colored section. But first, I need to place down all of the blocks that I've already accumulated. And that's the stone, brick, sand section complete. And that probably would have been quicker than when I did the end section if I didn't take that little detour to the deep dark. There's only three sections remaining right now, which is the copper blocks, the colorful blocks, and finally, the valuables. I may as well start out with the copper because I've got this much in my ender chest and then this much in my house and right outside the museum is probably the perfect place to put all of the copper down so it can oxidize but i don't know how much of it needs to oxidize uh 
I'm guessing you can just use this for copper. Yes, you can. I swear, this is the best block in the game. Anyway, enough excitement. Whilst I wait for the rest of it to weather, I can start mining out the section for where the copper is going to be parallel to the ocean blocks over there. And it's only a small corridor because, well, there's not much copper. There's the first four. Now I need to get some more honeycomb so I can wax the copper. And I'm pretty sure when I do this, it's going to make the bees extremely angry. So if I can do it from this way around, they're absolutely fuming at me. Look at his eyes. But I do have some honeycomb, which hopefully is enough. I guess all I've got to do is... There we go. Yep, that's genuinely the first time I've ever done that. Oh, and there's a different one over there. Yeek. Another one of these. The rest are taking their sweet, sweet time. So while I leave the copper to do its thing, I'm going to head over to the sheep farm so that I can start off the colorful section. Nice. And there's 16 different colors. So I'm thinking if I go below here with a staircase, maybe I could eventually have a big long corridor of every single color. Or maybe I'll do it going this way because it's under the museum, not out into the river. But as I was saying, there's roughly 200 colored blocks in the game, which means this is going to have to be a pretty big corridor. I've pretty much run out of quartz, so I'm going to have to use stone until i get to the staircases i'm going to start out by placing the wall blocks first and this is going to look awesome when i place down every single color block there is in minecraft i was about to fly off and then i remembered you can make carpets next i need 17 shulker boxes and i'll just place them all in here for now before i change them with the different color dyes and then i'm pretty sure somewhere at home i've got a bunch of beds for some reason Yep, there they are. <laughs> Next is the glass and the glass panes. We've also got the candles from earlier, which again, I've never used before. Oh, the banners will actually be really easy. I need to go get the wool again because all you have to do is craft it using wool. Then for the concrete and the concrete powder, we're going to have this section down the middle because we ran out of room everywhere else. Now I'm going to place down all of the shulkers, followed by the beds. And I think that's everything but the terracotta and glazed terracotta. And now it's all placed down. I've got to be honest, it looks really trash. Therefore, to fix that, I'm going to make the room narrower, mine up some more room. And I think that this looks a lot better. That's one way of wasting two hours. Now, this corridor is perfectly symmetrical. And I forgot that there's the regular terracotta block. So to make this part here symmetrical, there we go. Surely by now the copper has changed color which means that along with the color section, we can also tick off the copper section. Or maybe because this is quite small, I could fit in the boats and the minecarts because there's not really anywhere else for them to go. So on this side, I'll place down the boats one by one. And then on the other side, I'll do the boats that hold the chests. They do look a bit messy, but it's fine. Now for the minecart, minecart with a hopper, minecart with chest, furnace, TNT. And we've got one block remaining. So I'm gonna place down a cake. Now those sections are complete. It means that I've placed over 800 blocks. And that number's gonna continue to get higher as we move on to the ores, which I'm going to have to get by mining. And I've probably not done that for at least a thousand days. First, I'm going to check in this perimeter to see if there's any ores in the side, which there are. I'll start off with the regular ores before working my way down to get the deep slate versions. And thanks to that giant hole, I've collected pretty much all of them already. I just need the diamond, deep slate diamond, the deep slate coal, and both of the emeralds. And luckily for me, the deep slate emerald ore is the rarest overworld ore variant. We've got some work to do. So first, I've got to find a mountain like this and hope there's some sort of a cave no way well that was a lot easier than i thought it was going to be now maybe if we go deeper we might find the deep slate version surely this is rare right i wish you could pick up spawners man it'd be so cool but i'll sell for the xp there's our diamonds Oh, this is a lot of diamonds. I'm down to needing just three more. And that includes the deep slate coal, which look how close you are to deep slate. Why can't that? <laughs> so frustrating. Anyway. Now I just need the regular diamond ore and the deep slate emerald. And despite looking all the way through this massive cave and finding a ton of diamonds, none of them are the regular ore version. And I think in order to find the regular diamond ore, I'm going to have to throw it back to the good old days and strip mine. Boring. Finding du- Oh, finding regular diamond ore. The feeling will just never get old. Apparently, the best thing to do is to find the mountain and then find a cave that's attached to it. So that's what I did. Checking cave after cave after cave until this happened. <gasps> oh, that is the biggest troll I've ever seen in Minecraft. Like, why can't you just be the emerald? Or <gasps> oh my god. 
I found it. Let's go. <laughs> For blocks as rare as this, they are going to need to be showcased. So maybe I just make a little aisle down the middle to showcase the rarest blocks. And talking of rare blocks, I need to get a block of Neverite, which luckily I don't have to go mining loads of ancient debris for. So I can place this right here. As apart from that one there, it's probably the most difficult to obtain. Now all the ores are on display. I've only got five blocks left to collect. Well, seven because I forgot the ominous banner and the painting, which means now I genuinely only do have five blocks left. So let's start in the nether with the wither skeleton skull just like that. And that was easy, but the other four might be a bit more difficult to get because charge creepers do a ton of damage and I don't really want to die. Now there's raining and there's thunder, I need to find myself a creeper and hit it with my trident. Okay, put my chest plate on because this is going to get dangerous. Uh, do you have to be in the rain? Oh, <laughs> that's the first one I've actually ever seen in game. I've never charged a creeper before. That skeleton needs to come here too. Oh. Son of a gun. That's creeper number two. Let's blow them all up. Boom! Zombie head. That was really enjoyable. I don't even know why. Here is creeper number three. And this time we are going to need a skeleton. For like Zeus. Yep. Oh, that does so much damage. Now I've got the wither skeleton skull, the skeleton skull, and the zombie head. We need to get a creeper head and then somehow figure out a way of getting the piglin head, which actually is the rarest block in Minecraft now, apparently. Here's one creeper. Let's charge him up. Okay, this, this could get very fatal very quick. So I need to charge this one first. And... Oh, I got it. Let's go. That wasn't too bad. All right, let's get these placed down. I think this is super cool. And I sort of got them in rarity order, but we've got one spot left. And I think I'm going to need a plan for this one, which involves me getting another charged creeper, bringing it through a nether portal, and then blowing up the piglin to get its head. So first I'll try and trap a hoglin because they're easier to trap than creepers. And I'm going to give him a name tag because I don't really want him to despawn on me. Oh. Didn't I just say this would be easier than a creeper? There we go. And I think I need to block off this side of the portal to stop the creeper going through this side. Now this should be ready for a creeper to come through and blow this guy up. And now I just need a creeper. So whilst I wait for it to rain, consider subscribing. Because I'm trying to hit 300,000 subscribers and only a small percentage of you guys who watch my videos actually subscribed. It's completely free and you can always change your mind later. Okay, we have rainfall and we have a creeper. Can I... Shot. Gonna try and give him a name tag. Oh, I just need to get him to come through this portal. Like that. Now, if I switch to my chest plate and hold a second totem, when we get through, it should blow up and we will have the piglin head. There it is. Let's go. Yo, now I can blend him. <laughs> but uh, it's gonna be a long journey back because I forgot a flint and steel. So I traveled across the nether to another portal that I placed down, flew all the way home. And finally, let's go. Now I just need to do some interior decorating to the museum because at the moment it looks pretty trash. So let's take it from looking like this to something like this. And that is how I collected every single block in Minecraft Hardcore. And if you enjoyed the video, click the one on screen right now.